Tonight, eight contestants compete in a game show like no other. The question is... I don't know. Uh-oh. Choosing the correct answers can win you $50,000. What's up, baby? But choose just one wrong answer. The wrong answer is... Oh, my God. And you're gone. and one way to leave a game show. You got to be kidding me right now. You guys all look so serious. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome to the most insane game show in the history of television. One of you, who we're going to call the winner in this case, is going to walk out of here with $50,000. I know, I know. And we couldn't have made it more simple for you. All you got to do is answer a question correctly, and you stay in the game. It's that like easy. That. However, get just one question wrong, and you're not only going to be eliminated from this show a penniless failure, because there's absolutely no fun in that for me, we are going to eject you from this show. And we have 101 different ways to do that. All right, you guys ready? Yeah. yeah. All right, I'm going to split you guys into two groups. We're going to start with you guys up front, so you guys can step aside and watch the fun. All right. Here we go. Yeah. To compete for the $50,000, all you got to do is get this question right. If you don't, you're off the show, and here's how. Oh my that God. is a 1940s biplane. You will be standing on the top wing. If you get it right, you're safe. If you are plane is going to go screaming down this runway, take off with you standing on top, soar high, high into the air, and away from your chances of $50,000. I like to call this one on a wing and a prayer. Before I get to the first question, we're going to play a little game to determine who gets to answer in what order. Take one of these pads and pass it down. In 2006, William Shatner sold his kidney stone. Write down how much the buyer ended up paying for it. Closest to the correct number gets to go first, second, so on. All right, let's see what you guys wrote down. $26,500, 1 million, and 15,000 smiley face. 1,500 is the lowest. Well, it's not a kidney, it's a stone. <laughs> sure, 1 million. Uh, you did hear kidney stone, not kidney diamond. I, I, <laughs> well, William Shatner's kidney stone <laughs> sold for $75,000. All the proceeds went to Hurricane Katrina victims, which means, Chuck, you are the closest. You're going first. Art, you're going second. Kelly, third. And woo, $1 million gets to go for it. All right, let's get you guys suited up. Follow me. Grand for a kidney stone. I'll pass one for that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you guys look so cute and aerodynamic. By the way, luge practice is going to happen in an hour from now, OK? Yeah. <laughs> all right, to get yourself one step closer to that $50,000, all you got to do is get this question right. I'm going to give you the answers first, though. And they are the ex-boyfriend locator, baby cry translator, finger treadmill, and mosquito repellent. And the question is, as of April 2011, which three of these are actual apps you can buy from the iTunes App Store? Chuck, if you're a little tense, you want to stretch it out, we can um, do that. I'm all right. I'm ready <laughs> to rock. Let's all right. Go. On that note, all right. what are you thinking as far as your answer goes? Baby cry translator. I, I could have used that about three years ago when my kids were crying. I didn't know what the hell they were crying about. Chuck, you're a family man? I have a daughter who just turned five, and my son is three. So not old enough yet that this will be embarrassing. <laughs> Remember, three of them are right, one is wrong. You know, you got to be in shape to text these days, so I'm going to go with finger treadmill. All right, Art, over to you, second in line. What are you going to do with the money? I'm going to buy my iguana a huge rainforest condo that's going to blow everyone's mind. <laughs> There's going to be waterfalls. There's going to sure. be a bunch of stuff. I mean, why wouldn't you? Yeah, $50, why not? $50,000, exactly. waterfalls made of gold. <laughs> <laughs> All right, our finger treadmill is off the list. People are kind of crazy when they get their babies, so okay. I'm going to go with the Baby Cry Translator app. OK. Kelly. Hi. Hi. What do you do for a living? Um, I'm an interventional vascular technologist, so okay. yeah. That one is for me. <laughs> 
All right, left on the board, we have ex-boyfriend locator and mosquito repellent. I would say ex-boyfriend locator, because I think there's a lot of psycho chicks out there that <laughs> want to locate their ex-boyfriend. All right, and finally, we're over to Jasmine. Hello. You're definitely getting stuck with mosquito repellent. repellent. I'm actually fine with that. That's my only choice. Jasmine, where are you from? I detect an accent. It sounds like New Jersey. No, I'm actually from Houston, Texas. I was close. <laughs> Very close. <laughs> Everyone has got their answers. Chuck, you answered finger treadmill. Art chose baby cry translator. Kelly picked ex-boyfriend locator. And Jasmine was stuck with mosquito repellent. It's now time to find out who's leaving 101 ways to leave a game show. No! I'm gonna make this real easy on two of you, all right? You can burn a lot of calories on the finger treadmill. Chuck, you are safe. Yeah! And a karate kick in there. <laughs> Guess who else is safe? Woo! The person who answered Baby Cry Translator. <laughs> The gentlemen are safe. Ladies, we are starting pre-boarding. You can make your way to your airplanes. Calculations are correct. Kelly should be somewhere over Kansas. <laughs> oh. Who's in the mood for $50,000? Yeah. Okay, well, I'm gonna have to get this question correct. If not, you're off the show, and here's how. We are all gonna be on top of that truck right there. <laughs> As it continues to move at high speed. Get the question wrong, you are gonna get dropped off the side of it. And we will still be moving. No way. Who's in the mood for $50,000? OK. Well, to get a step closer to that $50,000, you're going to have to get this question correct. If not, you're off the show, and here's how. We are all going to be on top of that truck right there. If you are wrong, you are going to get dropped off the side of it. And we will still be moving. Oh. I like to call this one Road Rage. Oh my gosh. Before I ask the next question, we're gonna play a little game to determine the order in which you're gonna answer in. Everyone take one of these pads and pass it down. I want you to write down in feet how tall the letter H in the Hollywood sign is. Closest to the correct number gets to go first, second, so on. All right, let's see what we have for answers. Flip them over. 
Matt went with 100 feet. <laughs> Gotta be a big age, man. Sharon went with 42 feet, Ara 40 feet, and Trish 12 feet. Now, Trish, you are aware a basketball hoop is 10 feet. <laughs> okay. okay, I was just trying to picture two men standing on top of each other, and I thought that maybe it would be equal. Well, what if I told you the H is actually 45 <laughs> feet? Which means, Sharon, you're going Good. first. Are you're going second, Woo! Trish third, and Matt with 100 feet, you get to go fourth. Oh. All right, lemmings, follow me. Oh. <laughs> appear on a U.S. $1 bill. Three of those answers are right. One is wrong. Your obvious job is to avoid the wrong one. Drop them off. Yeah. yeah. So, Sharon, you have three boys. Yeah. Would they be psyched about you up here, or are they going to say, Mom, you're crazy? so psyched. They'd be wanting to be right here with me. Okay. Three of those items are on a U.S. $1 bill. I am going to say, God, this is a trick question. Is there not a flag on it? Uh, I know that there is Roman numerals, so I, I'm going to go with Roman numerals. You had your first choice. That's a pretty good position to be Absolutely. in. Absolutely. All right. Moving on to Ara. You just graduated from cooking school, yeah? Yes, I did. What are you doing later? You want to cook me dinner? Uh, maybe. It depends if I don't fall off this truck. How about your answer? Roman numerals is off the table. Well, I'm sure the dollar bill has that pyramid on it. I know that. I know there's like an eye on it. Pyramid and eye were not the choice. Yeah, yeah, I'm trying to envision it. I think, uh, you gotta make a decision, bro. I'm gonna say key. Trish, you seem a little tense. I am. Not as tense as our friend Matt over there. Matt looks like he's gonna throw up. You are downwind. He throws up, you are all gonna get it. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Get it together, Matt. That'll happen. Oh, Watch you. Trish.
you guys can go right over there. The rest right. of you, park it right here. <laughs> Car humor. Ah. OK, I digress. Jasmine, you're very close to getting eliminated. It was a very scary situation for me. You know, black folks don't stand on wings, we eat them. OK. So <laughs> I was just, I was trying to keep well myself said. maintained. Well said. <laughs> All right, Art, now that we are out of the full body unitard, uh, I know some tattoos. What do you got there? My pride and joy is my Gaga tattoo. Now, do you have any concern that in three months, when she's no longer relevant, <laughs> that that was going to be a really bad idea? She'll never die. She's a legend already. You guys ready to get started? I am ready. All right. Bring it. To compete for that $50,000, all you got to do is get the next question right. If you don't, you're off the show, and here's how. You're each going to be inside one of these cars. If you answer correctly, you're safe. If you are wrong, however, and one of you will be, you will go screaming down this road, hit that ramp, flip over into a fiery inferno, crash into a mangled mess on the other side. I like to call this one single car pile. I'm not doing that. I'm so glad that's not us. As always, before I ask you guys the next question, I'll play a little game to determine the order you're going to answer. Write down the maximum number of passengers the world's largest cruise ship, Allure of the Seas, can hold. Closest to that number gets to answer first, second, so on. You guys know the drill. All right, let's see our answers. Flip them around. Chuck went with 2,700. Jasmine, 15,000 exclamation point. Art. 5,000, oh. I love you, Mom. Well, the allure of the seas, the world's largest cruise ship, can hold 6,318 passengers, which means Art's answer of 5,000 makes him first, Chuck with 2,700 will be second, and Jasmine's 15,000 puts her at a very distant third. I'm seeing a pattern, Jasmine. Yes, All right, you guys rearrange real quick. Let's get to it, shall we? All right, come yeah, on. I'm going to ask it. you a question, but first, here are the answers. Mel Gibson, Martin Sheen, and George Michael. The question is, which two of these celebrities have been arrested at least five times? All right, we're going to start with you, but before we do, you said you loved your mom. Yes, I do. You said you love Lady Gaga. I do. Who would win in a fight? My mom. All right, you have the honors okay. of going first. Two of those answers are right. One is wrong. Unless you want to flip over in a fiery car, you're going to want to avoid that wrong I don't want that. Well, Mel Gibson, he's kind of crazy. He's lost his mind. Coming yeah. from the man who's going to spend $45,000 yeah, yeah, on like, an iguana. Um, but okay. not getting the vibe okay. from him. So I'm going to say George Michael. So you think George Michael has been arrested at least five times? Yeah, he was a naughty boy. I remember that. I heard about what he was doing. He okay. was nasty. Chuck, we're moving on over to you. All right. Chuck, where are you from? I am from New York. Not New York, New York. New York, that's what I said, New York. George Michael's off the table. You have Mel Gibson and Martin Sheen. Well, Mel Gibson's been in the news a lot, you know? After what I heard on the radio, I hope he's been arrested at least five times. So you're saying he's a bad dude. <laughs> Let's lock it in, Mel Gibson. All right, very good. Jasmine. Hello. Hi, Jasmine. Hi. Who do you think up here is going home? Chuck. Well, I could have answered that question. You think I Chuck's going home? I cannot believe <laughs> Chuck chose Mel Gibson. Martin Sheen has been in the county more than actually five times. I just want to be clear, we're not confusing Martin Sheen with Charlie Sheen, are we? <laughs> Uh-oh. That's what I think I just did. Oh, my word. <laughs> I'm just putting it out there. See, now the confidence is just shot. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I got a great idea. Here. Let's get you guys suited up and inside those cars. Uh, yeah. yeah. I have asked you guys to name a celebrity that has been arrested at least five times. Art, you went with George Michael. Chuck went with Mel Gibson. And Jasmine went with Martin Sheen. And one of you is going screaming down that road oh my gosh. to flip over in a fiery explosion. Oh. I just wanted to yell that because I think it makes it more dramatic. <laughs> I'm so scared. I'm going to throw up on myself. 
one of these celebrities has been arrested 60 times. Oh, my God, I'm freaking out. Come on. A lot of those arrests were for political protests. Jasmine, you are safe. Martin Sheen is correct. Get on out of the car. Come on over. Yes! Final four! <laughs> nice. Give me, give it to me. Give me the dance. Give me the dance. You know what we call this dance? One step closer to $50,000. <laughs> Guys, oh. goggles down, windows up. Oh, my gosh. Put your windows up because of the fiery explosion. I got this, I got this. This is it. The wrong answer is... Holy s***, I'm going to throw. you guys to name a celebrity that has been arrested at least five times. Jasmine's answer of Martin Sheen was correct. Chuck went with Mel Gibson. Art, you went with George Michael. Holy I'm gonna throw. The wrong answer is... is Mel Gibson. Mel Gibson! <laughs> Damn you, Mel Gibson! $50,000. Why don't you guys meet the others over at the abandoned Woo! ammo dump? Yeah! into a fire explosion like Chuck. Uh, How awesome was that? That was bad. That was, that was so awesome. Exciting. Speaking of explosions, I got a surprise in store for you guys. Trish, who are you not worried about? I'm not worried about Sharon one bit. Moms don't intimidate me one bit. Oh, really? Right. Have you seen that look, though? My mom does it better. Oh! <laughs> Ara, how about you? <laughs> I, I'm not too too scared for Gaga. Oh, what's up with Gaga? I know. They ain't goo goo for Gaga. Yeah, huh? How about we get to the fun stuff? What do you yeah, say? I, I like fun stuff. Let's do it. All right. Woo! To stay in the game and compete for the $50,000, all you have to do is get this question right. If you get it wrong, you're off the show, and here's how. You're each going to be sitting in one of these fancy pilot chairs. Underneath that is a box of explosives, oh naturally. And attached to that box of explosives, we need a fuse. I'm going to light all three of these fuses. If you give me the wrong answer, and one of you will, you are going to explode straight up into the air. And, you know, I don't even know how high you're going to go, but there's a chance you may not come down. I call this one, you fuse, you lose. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Take one of these, pass it on. Before we get to the next question, I want to play a little game to determine the order in which you're going to answer it. Here we go. Write down how many teeth a full-grown African lion has. Whoever gets closest to the correct number will answer first, second closest answer second, and so on. All right? Let's see what you got for answers. Booyakasha. Boom shakalaka. Trish is going with 32, duh. 46, exclamation point, and just a standard 48. A full-grown African lion has 30 teeth, which means we're gonna go right in this order. 
Trish was two teeth oh, off. Yeah. Ari, you're going to go second yeah. with 46. So and Sharon is taking. going third. Why don't we get you guys in your pilot seats? Locked, loaded, strapped, and ready to go. You guys comfy? Yes. Because your comfort is my number one concern. <laughs> I have a question that I am dying to ask you guys. But first, here are the answers. Mick Lobster. McEggroll and Spam McGriddle. Which two of these items have been sold on McDonald's menus in the United States? Trish, you get to go first, but before we get your answer, <laughs> okay. tell me again, what are you gonna do with that money if you win? I'm gonna buy Justin Bieber backstage passes. <laughs> that, there's no way you're serious about that. She is a little insane. I think she needs to go bye-bye. You are a brave, brave need to blow soul. Her up. Very right. good. Well, two of those are right, one is wrong. Unless you like explosives underneath your butt, <laughs> you want to avoid the wrong one. I know that there's such thing as a McGriddle. It's delicious. Okay. But I've never heard of a Spam McGriddle. And then McLobster. Lobster's, ex like, expensive, and McDonald's is supposed to be cheap. So McEggroll seems like it would make sense because it flows off the tongue very well, and it just seems tame. So I'm going to go with McEggroll because that was my first gut choice. Okay. And every other time, I've always gone with my gut, and it's always done well for me. Go with the okay. gut. We're moving over to Ara. Ara ah. is getting married. Definitely. When is the wedding? The wedding is time out. I really don't care. How are you going to pay for that wedding? <laughs> I'm paying for it with the money that I win from this game show. OK, let's talk about your answer. All right. McEgg roll is off the table. Spam is gross, <laughs> but people in Hawaii love spam. OK. I'm going to go with Spam McGriddle based on Hawaii loving spam. You are putting a lot on Hawaii. If I don't get this right, I'm going to be very upset with the whole state of Hawaii and McDonald's. Sharon, over to you. You are the mom. You're not oh. the mom of them. Oh, no. You're getting stuck with Mick Lobster. You OK with that? When Trisha picked McEgg roll, I it's Trish. think <laughs> she picked the wrong one. So Mick Lobster, you feel, is on the McDonald's yeah. menu in the United States, yeah. and you think Trish is going home. I do. I'm sorry, Trish. Bye-bye. Well, oh, all right. Boy. Now, you guys are aware. I'm in control. You guys can go at any time. I say let them all fly off. That's the kind of control I have. I like being saved. I like lighting fuses. Oh. Trish, you seem concerned all of a sudden. <laughs> I just don't want to go up there. <laughs> well, Ara seemed pretty confident with his answer of Spam McGriddle. So for funsies, OK. Let's find out if Spam is right. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Let's find out, everyone. Hang okay. tight. Luck, this is going to be fun. This is not going to be fun. Correct. You are moving on to the final round. Yeah. Come on over. Ah, that's right. All right. Very that's aggressive. Right. I like it. Well, Trish had her first choice and went with McEgg roll. Sharon had no choice and got stuck with McLobster. It seems like everything is in place for a great dramatic ending. I love it. It's time to find out who's leaving 101 ways to leave a game show. I'm just going to start off over here. Let's do it. <laughs> Woo! Here we go. You know, let's double the pleasure. Ah! Oh! oh. <laughs> the wrong answer is... Ah! Well, it looks like ah! Sharon is safe. No ah! boom, boom, ah! See ah! you later, Trish. Ah!
tall is this? This is way too tall for me. This is insane. This is no so fun. Welcome to the final round. Oh, uh -uh. God. Oh, Bring God. it on out. Don't be afraid. Oh, oh, I'm going to stay back here. Come on yeah. out. very hard today, haven't we? Yeah. Yes. Okay. And it's down to the four of you. I don't know if it's worth it. And in a few short moments, one of you will be walking away. Keywords here, walking away. Right. That'll be me. $50,000. Rich. Yeah. However, for the rest of you, you're going to be testing the laws of gravity Ooh. to the extreme levels. Bye-bye. Since we are in the final round, and since I am giving out $50,000, we are changing up the rules a little. There are going to be four answers. Three of those answers will be wrong, okay. and there's only one right answer. Your job is to choose that one correct answer. If you do, you're going to win the big money. Yeah! All right, I got I'd that. I'd like to do that. I'd yeah, love to do that. If you give me one of the wrong answers, you're off the show, and here's how. <gasps> You are standing on that platform uh, when all of a no. sudden the bottom drops out and you just happen to fall 10 stories oh my God. down below. For three of you, that will be a reality. I call this one the drop of terror. Echo, right. echo, echo, echo. How are you feeling? Woo. Jeff, the highest I've ever been is five inches on some stilettos for Gaga. Not no. <laughs> oh, wow. This is some ridiculous. Wow. Uh, ooh. All right. <laughs> yes, sir. You're about to take the plunge getting married oh. and potentially taking the plunge off the I'll stick practice. with the plunge getting married. Oh. Okay. And I'll walk down these stairs with 50 grand. All right, you guys know the deal. Before I get to the last and final question, <laughs> we're going to play a little game to determine the order which you're going to answer. You're going to write down a number on one of these boards. Take it, pass it down. Here we go. Let's say the average adult fell from this platform. <laughs> I'm just hypothetical. Oh my God. And broke one of his bones. Write down how many unbroken bones he'd have left. You should know this. Closest to that correct number gets to go first, second, third, so on. All right, let's see, flip them around. Let's see what the answers are. Jasmine went with 75 bones. Art went with 305 bones. Sharon, 133. And Ara oh. went 207 oh, bones. God. I can tell you this much. The average human has 206 right. bones, meaning if you broke one, oh you'd have God. 205. Which means Ara goes first with 207. Oh, yeah. Sharon goes yeah. second with 133 yes. bones. Yes. Art in third with 305 bones. Oh, and what? shockingly, oh. Jasmine is in fourth position with 75 but she keeps bones. She's getting safe with fourth position. She's got this look on it's her side. It's worked for you so far. Oh, Obviously. Oh, I got oh, a God. brilliant idea. Why don't we get you guys out on the platforms? I don't like that idea. Oh, go ahead. Get on out there. Trust me, it's safe. Uh -huh. Everyone to the edge of your platforms. Uh, Carefully, oh my God. please. <laughs> oh, no. I can't do it. I can't do it. I'm oh my God. freaking out. Wait, Keep coming, Jess. You are not even close. You need to get right up there. Sharon, keep coming. Okay. Ara, right, you're good. All right, I can't go no more. I'm good. <laughs> this is really scary. Oh, Lord. Help me. All right. Well, here it is. For $50,000, I'm bringing the... Here are the answers to the final question. I'm crying right now. Oh, my God. They are. <laughs> Google.com, Yahoo.com, okay. oh God, and Facebook.com. The question is, in 2010, what was the most visited website 
in the U.S.? Three of the answers are wrong. One is right. Okay, I know this one. Oh, Jasmine knows it. Unfortunately, she is in the worst position to be in. Yes. Ara's in the best position to be in. You look okay. very nervous. I'm freaking out. I am in a full freak out. Is that going to affect your answer? Yes. Yes. Most definitely. I think it might be either Google or Facebook. <laughs> I am not right. I am shaking. I don't want to put any added pressure to you, but Art has wet himself three times already. I cannot I'm take gonna this go. right now. Can we come on with the answers? With Facebook. Sharon, over to you. Ara has locked in his answer. Facebook.com is off the table. I'm shaking. OK, I was kind of on Ara's lines. So I'm going to go with Google, because I use it every single day. Google.com. Yeah, it's the Google, most visited Google website Maps, in the U.S. Google Earth. <laughs> I'm shaking. I'm going with Google. Art, so far, all I've heard from you is a lot of... Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Amazon. I'm just picking Amazon because that's what I feel in my heart. I don't care anymore. Just keep it going. I don't want to stand up here anymore. Just drop me if you have to. Do you use oh. Amazon.com a lot? I'm about to. Don't they sell freaking pills to just knock me out or just calm me down? I'm about to fall off this thing. About oh, man. Art is locking in Amazon.com. Mm -hmm. Over to Jasmine, who <gasps> finally has shown some motion. So we know she's, she's still scared. alive. Jasmine, Mom, you have been in this position scared. all day. Oh Yet here you are, a chance of $50,000. Oh, my God. I feel very blessed, Jeff. Yeah. Do you think that luck is going to continue? I have to think positive. And I guess going with Yahoo? I don't now, know. Now, Jasmine, is Yahoo what you would have gone with? No, I definitely would have went with Amazon. People are always buying stuff from off of Amazon. You know what? I don't want to sway this one way or another, but you know where I got this trigger? Oh, OK. OK, <laughs> Amazon.com. Oh, God. Art, do me a favor. You can just take your glasses off, put them in your pocket or something. Oh, God. We definitely want your pocket to see what's happening. <laughs> All right, this is it. For the final time tonight, let's see who's leaving oh, 101 ways oh, to leave a game show. Oh, my I asked you to name the most visited website in the U.S. in 2010. Ara, you went with Facebook.com, visited a lot. Sharon, you chose Google.com. Art wasted no time whatsoever. I think it's the nerves. And he went with Amazon.com, leaving Jasmine. Yahoo. Yahoo.com. Well. Safety off. Oh my god. Safety on. Safety off. Come on, Jack. Safety on. Jeff, Safety come off. On. Don't do this to us. One of the wrong answers is. No, 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 no. Yahoo.com! Yes. <laughs> Why is everyone so nervous? Oh, I can't believe that just happened. Oh, it happened. Oh, God. It happened. And you know what, Art? It's going to happen again and again oh. until there is one of you oh, left. Only okay. two more times. Well, Jasmine dropped like a sack of potatoes. I know. I, don't I wouldn't mind seeing someone else go down. Another one of the wrong answers oh. is... between the three of you and $50,000 is a 10-story fall. Well, Jasmine dropped like a sack of potatoes. I know. I, don't I wouldn't that. mind seeing someone else go down. I was asking you guys to name the most visited website in the U.S. in 2010. Mara had first choice and picked Facebook.com. Sharon, you chose Google.com, and Art went with Amazon.com. Another one of the wrong uh, answers is a website that I oh love to go to uh, on a weekly basis. Amazon.com. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>
How Between fun this is us. for me. God. One of you is about to win $50,000. Please, please, please. We got this. We got this. I can tell you this as a fun fact. In 2009, uh -huh. Google.com was oh. the most visited website. Oh, come on. Oh, Let's go, oh. Facebook. <laughs> I'm freaking out, man. Oh. Ara. Yes. If you Googled the most visited website uh -huh. in 2010, you would find out that Sharon is wrong. So long, Sharon! <laughs> ABC's all-new Tuesday continues with the premiere of Combat Hospital right now.